it's a source of wonder, challenge for me, unadulterated joy, just trying to be as elegant as these old bones will move on the water. Efficiency of motion, smoothness and flow. Boats are a magic carpet. I spent 44 years of my life totally committed and immersed in the realm of clay. It was my reason for being, the endeavor where time stood still. And it was successful and joyful at the time. When I began clay, it was entirely the process that captivated my soul. It, it's so responsive. There is no distance between the maker and the material. It's absolutely direct. It consumed me. as I look back on my younger life, I wished I'd been a more attentive, devoted dad. I mean, I was, I think, 23 or 24 when my first son was born. I still had a lot of my own crap to work through, and as a young guy, I loved the identity of Dave the Potter. We seek unintentionally to conform to the parameters of whatever identity we, we attach to. My own dad, at one point when he was 80 something, he wanted to retire and they moved down to Florida as they're supposed to do as a aging successful character. And, and after six months, he had to go back to work because he felt like he was just a schmuck. Our sense of self is sort of contrary to the, the, the true creative process. It, it, it's a boundary. Water can manifest in a near infinite array of possibilities without truly being any of them. It can be furious. It can be pacific. It can encompass movement or stillness. It's any of them and all of them simultaneously. A well-designed boat with a well-designed crew can negotiate with grace. I'm just moving through life at this point. In the mornings, I'll define myself as the guy who washes the dishes, and then I'll define myself as the guy who goes down and builds boats. There's no concrete definition, and it doesn't restrict my capacity to undertake endeavors and to get involved. And very little to be gained by holding on to pretty much anything. So maybe that's what I want to say.